What is up guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make a cool analog sounding synth in Serum. This is what we're gonna to create today. Ready? Let's go. Okay, so this is the MIDI pattern that we're gonna to use today. You can just pause the video and copy it. So we start by loading up Serum, go to oscillator A on the analog, Select matrixy, then we set this to free in unison, put down the detune, up with the volume, then we set the fine tuning to minus seven, then we go to oscillator B and go onto analog and select the PVM Juno, put this to five unison, the detune to around here, and then put down octus to minus one, and then we put up the fine tune by seven, and again also put up the level. So now we have something like this. Then we're going to go to the filter and we're going to select the MG Low 24. Put the cutoff to around 200 hertz, up with the resonance a little bit. We're going to increase the fat and also add a little bit of drive. And then we're going to enable this for both oscillator A, B, and the noise oscillator. So now we have something like this. Then we navigate to the noise oscillator and we go on the analog and we select the bright white. Put this to one shot mode, put the level all the way down because we're gonna add some modulation to the level knob. Put up the randomization phase so every time the hit note hits, it's gonna be a little bit different in the noise oscillator. So now we're ready to set up the envelopes. So we navigate to envelope one, we put up a little bit of decay, put down the sustain and then add a little bit of release. So we have a sound like this. Then we navigate to envelope two and we create a kind of similar shape as envelope one, a little bit shorter in the decay. So this one is gonna be assigned to the filter cutoff. It's around here. Then we're gonna navigate to envelope three and here we're gonna make a really short, plucky envelope and this one is going to be assigned to the noise oscillator the level of the noise oscillator so we get that like transient kind of sound to it okay so now we're ready to go to the lfos so we navigate to lfo1 we're going to draw a shape like this add a little bit of slope put this to an unsynced way so put a rate at around 1.1 hertz and the LFO1 is going to be assigned to the wavetable position of oscillator A. So every time it's the sound is playing, this is gradually increasing and it makes the LFO scan through all of the wavetable positions in the oscillator A. And if we, if we turn off the filter, you can hear that it's scanning through the different wavetable positions. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty cool. And it's a great way to add some change to the sound over time. Next, we're gonna go to LFO2 and we go down, I have saved a preset. So you're basically gonna draw a random shape like this and put this to an unsync mode. And what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna assign LFO2 to the fine tuning of both oscillator A and B. And we can put the amount to around here. We can actually turn down the rate a little bit. Okay, so we're going to LFO3 now, and we're gonna reuse the same random shape here, but I'm just gonna do a little bit of tweaking to these, like this. And this one is gonna be applied to the wavetable position of oscillator B. So every time this is going through, I'm gonna turn off the BPM, turn down the rate. So now like the, the wavetable is also changing to oscillator B. And it's just adding so much character to the sound. And next we're going to LFO4 and we're gonna go and select the sine wave, turn off the BPM, make it a little bit slower. And then we're gonna navigate to oscillator A and we're gonna change the warp mode to sync full window. And then we're gonna assign LFO4 to this. And this is just adding some wavetable modulation to the oscillator. It's just gonna change the sound over time. And 
amazing. Okay, so I'm actually gonna retweak envelope two a little bit. So gonna make the sustain a little bit shorter and also the decay. So we get a little more pluggy sound. So now we're ready to really dive into more modulation. So we're gonna go to the matrix. We're gonna select the node on random one, and we're gonna select the panning for noise oscillator A, put the type to both ways. Then we're gonna increase the amount. So every time the node hits, the, there is like applied some different panning to not the oscillator A. So you can see here the blue one. And you might also hear like that the sound is panning like from left to right in a more random way. And this is adding a lot of character to the sound. So we're gonna do the same thing for oscillator B, but we're just, we're gonna use the node random two instead, just to add a little bit of, of randomization. Cool. Then we're gonna go and also do the same thing for the noise, the panning of the noise oscillator. Then we're gonna select the chaos one and we're gonna apply this to the resonance of the filter. And lastly, we're gonna use the chaos two and we're gonna use it on the volume on oscillator A. So we're gonna apply a little bit and then we have So this basically means that the volume of oscillator A is going up and down in a random way. So it's not the same constant level. So this is it for the modulation. I'm gonna go back to the, to the filter and just open up the filter a little bit more. And then we're ready to go to the effects. So I'm gonna add an EQ. I'm gonna add a high pass and then we're gonna set this to around 134. And then I'm gonna do like a high shelf boost around 3 dB of boost and have it a little bit more like of a broad boost. Then we're gonna go and select a curse, right down to here. And then we're gonna change this to high pass filter, put this to here, add a little bit of feed, turn down the depth and also turn down the mix. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of distortion. I'm gonna select the tape saturation, put down the drive and also put the mix to around here. And we can actually go into the matrix and modulate the mix knob of the distortion. So I'm gonna put this on node run random and then go to effects, distortion width, and just have it like this. And then the mix amount is being changed every time the node hits. Next, we're gonna add a delay. Gonna set this to 1.8, put the feedback down, put it to ping pong mode, set the shape like this, and put the mixture around 20%. And then lastly, we're gonna add a compressor and just with the initial settings in zero. Okay, so that's the sound. Let's have a listen to the finished result. It's really, really amazing. Okay, that's it for this Serum tutorial. I really hope it showed you how you can make your own analog sounding synth in Serum. If you liked the video, it means so much to me if you would smash that like button or even subscribe to the channel. If you're looking for some sound inspiration, you can go check out my Serum preset pack on my web shop. The link is in the description down below. So I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, peace.